I'm Shanna Coons, and I'm from Ogden, Utah. Um, and I'm here because I just joined the gallery not too long ago, and this is my first show. I've been painting for 20 years. Um, I became professional selling my work, not necessarily professional, but selling my work as a means to pay for my education and more classes and supplies. Started that about 17, six, 16, 17 years ago. I took my first watercolor class and I fell head over heels in love with it and I knew that's all I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And in order to pay for my habit, I had to start selling, but I, it was really kind of more of a means of necessity. And the first show I came home with a really nice chunk of change, I thought, I can do this. this, this I, can, I can do this professionally. Yeah, there was a University of Women's um, invitational show, and I put one of my, my landscape watercolors in there, not even thinking that it would be juried into the show. And it was held at a museum, and they called out an award, and it was a really nice award and called my name. And at first I was looking for whoever they were calling, and it took a few minutes before it set in that they were saying my name and that was pretty that was pretty impressive that was a that was a, a highlight well when I went back to school I actually studied figure thinking I'd be a figure painter but the landscapes came so natural to me because of my upbringing and my family spent so much time that was our activity was out in the outdoors. So I started painting landscape and uh, so much for the figure. But my trees have actually become my figure um, and they can be just as interesting and they don't talk back. Um, I started out tonalist because I fell in love with George Innes and kind of a progression I went from tonalist to more impressionist. Um, into a little more contemporary, and I would consider myself now a contemporary landscape painter. My compositions are quite minimal. There's usually a very strong, solid horizon line that holds the whole composition together. The trees, like I said, are my figure. Um, kind of, anyway. The most important thing that I can say about my work is it's my voice. Be it good or be it bad, it's my voice, it's my interpretation. It's how I view the trees, it's how I view the landscape. That's my ultimate goal. It, everything's been said and done, but the thing that makes it different, the things that makes it special is how I, I express it or how I interpret it. Well, the progression so far has been from more realism to abstract to a little more contemporary. I love Rothko's color fields, um, and I think that my, my brain thinks in terms like that, and I think of eventually I'll be a non-objective painter. And right now I haven't said everything that I need to say with the landscapes that I love, but I think eventually that's the direction that they'll go. I've been a pianist my whole life and I love music and I love classical music, though I find myself not, I don't listen to classical when I'm painting, it's usually hard rock. <laughs> but um, I play classical music and when I'm, my, my palette is like chords of music and there's dissonance and there's rhythm and so many different correlations to music as I'm putting a composition together. And I can feel that. They're like people, they're influenced by all the elements around them, by the wind, by the snow, how close they are to water, what are their elevation, how do they grow, do they have crowds of family around them, are they single standing out in the middle of nowhere? 
completely changes the form of every tree. So when I'm painting it, it is a person to me, and I look at the elements that surround it and why it grows the way it grows, how it stands, how its branches come out. Um, it's a relationship to the elements around it.